That's number 65 today. It's going to be a uh, uh, mile IPA. Hopefully it comes in that way. We're going to hop the living hell out of it. Probably call it a Hoppy New Year beer. So it's going to be hit with a lot of warrior hops and uh, a lot of Chinook hops. Strike water's on. We're doing this one inside the house today because the brew house is in uh, disarray. It's being uh, sheetrocked and plastered. So we got a couple weeks to go on that before the paint gets on the wall. So we got everything out of the way, everything back in the house here, back to doing it the old-fashioned way. But, hey, all comes out the same. It's all good. Messy hair and everything. Happy New Year. I didn't sleep too good after a couple drinks last night, but we're doing okay. I want that. Useless. Make more work. Over there. Going in with the whatever I call it again, I forget. A beer. Happy New Year. Just mainly a one grain, a little bit of rye, a little bit of. Uh, Carapels, eight ounces of carapels, eight ounces of rye, and then eleven pounds of two row. And I see we're getting to the top here. Got the crown with the cover. We must have messed up the the volume. All right, what we got here on the uh, Hoppy uh, Brew Year, Hoppy, uh, Hoppy New Year, two ounces of uh, Willamette hops. going to go right into the mash here. We're going to let them mash right with the grains. Might stir them in here. In fact, why wouldn't I? I'm brewing indoors again today, like I said, because the, the garage is getting the plaster put up. So yeah, two ounces of Willamite hops right into the mash here. We'll give it a little bit of stir, and then we'll let her go. Two ounces of Willamite hops into the mash. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Let that mash for an hour, and we're good to go. We're starting to vortal off on the uh, hoppy... The Hoppy Brewer beer. I didn't realize it would sit on the ground there, but I guess it will. So we're barrel off in the uh, brew number 65. Batch number 65. Hoppy Brewer, it's called. <clears throat> and we'll just stick that right back into the uh, mash tun there. Oh, I can smell the hops I put in there. Two ounces of Willamite was thrown in there in the beginning. And I can definitely, definitely smell that. I'll just pour this back in slowly. Oh, I love the smell of that. So we're going to pour off this a couple times, and then we're going to get off to the boil kettle. I get a homebrew when I'm homebrewing, so this is my Munich. Hard to do it with the camera and the one hand. But boy, that is my Munich. Definitely a nice tasting beer. So back to brewing. I uh, just come in. Uh, the wort is just coming to a boil, ready for the hot break. I told the wife, watch the stove. How you doing? We're approaching hot break here on the... the IPA, the New Year's, uh, whatever I call this again, Happy, Happy New Year Brew. This is uh, New Year's Day, uh, 2019, uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I overshot my volume, and I had to put uh, an overflow in the kettle here. We're not going to waste that. It's going to go back into the boil kettle once the hops go in there. The, the hop bags, I got four ounces of, uh, once again, Warrior hops going in first, and there'll be another three ounces of Chinook going in at the end. It had two ounces of uh, 
Yeah, Willemite put right into the mash ton, and we're not done with hops hopping yet. We're not sure, but uh, hot break is approaching right now here. You got to watch out. And uh, we got a little uh, mango juice to put in and a, a little bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it there? Can't see it from here. Passion fruit for my IPA. So, look at that. Here comes the hot break. Man, you folks out there that brew know exactly what this smells like. Oh, baby, baby. Almost ready for the four ounce edition of uh, Warrior Hops. And then uh, the last edition will be Chinook Hops. And we, uh, like we said before, if we didn't, the two ounces of Willamette Hops right in the mash tun, which is still sitting over here draining a little bit. And a little bit of uh, overflow that we're going to have to add back in. Whoa, there we go, there we go, there we go. Shut her down. We want this all over the wife's kitchen floor. The only reason we're doing indoors today is because uh, the brew house slash garage slash brew house is under construction with more plaster work, final uh, plaster job, painting and mudding and all that mess that goes with it. So it should be all, you can probably paint it white, all one color. But uh, another indoor brew, batch number 65. All right, back to the Hoppy New Year beer, brew day on uh, New Year's Day, 2019. Hot break's been achieved. And goes four ounces of uh, Warrior Hops. Boy, am I I'm half brain dead again today. Four ounces of Warrior Hops on the initial uh, ske uh, schedule here. So we'll let that get going here, and uh, we'll get all our hop schedules made up and ready to, to go into the flow. Like I say, there's my leftovers. We're going to put that back in eventually that the kettle will boil over. Once again, a homebrew. This is my uh, German Munich. Color on it. It's hard to see there. A little hazy, but uh, good taste in beer. Got some decent lacing. Blah, blah, blah. Everything goes with that. You know how it goes. Oh, yeah. And then we got to empty the mash tun yet. It's garbage day for me here, so I'll put this in a bag and get it right to the curb. If I had uh, pigs or something, they would love this. <clears throat> Time for uh, Roland's Home Brew. Uh, real Munich beer. Home brewed Munich beer. Got some good head on it, some good lacing, good, 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 good tasting. How you doing? One for me, one for the wife. Delicious. One for me, one for the wife. Ah, uh, three ounces. Of Chinook hops ready to go into the into the IPA the hoppy New Year beer I'm making here it's still uh, New Year's Day of course I'm gonna be cooking a nice prime rib how you doing right from my favorite butcher but we got our favorite butcher again a beautiful uh, prime rib roast I'll uh, I'll photograph that maybe That's just telling me it's time to add three more. What's on the list? Three? Two. No, I upped it. Three. Three ounces of the of the Chinook. Or Chinook into the into the kettle. Flame out. So we're gonna put the work chiller in here. So out comes the work chiller. Dripping all over the floor. Clean that up later. Oh, does that heavy with water in it? Oh. And then she goes, hope the hose don't blow off and scald me to death. And we're on high. Gauge is in. And we're chilling, baby. We're chilling. And she's dropping quick with the water here in Buffalo, New York, the Lake Erie water. And we're down to, um, 
180, boy, like a countdown for a rocket, 179, 178, 177, 176, 175, yeah, I'm not going to sit one here and do it all day. One can of passion fruit, sanitize, everything sanitized. My fur made K's on the shelf over there. All right, on the uh, Hoppy New Year beer, uh, T58 yeast, dry yeast. The Hoppy New Year IPA here we're making. The yeast is in, and the cover's coming out of sanitizer. I keep a big bucket of sanitizer around. Honey, I need a bubbler. Covers on, and we're we're gonna call this one. All right, it's an indoor cook today for uh, New Year's Day, right after the the New Year's uh, brew, uh, uh, Happy New Year brew. This is the prime rib, what it looks like before it goes in the oven. I'm not gonna put it on the grill; it's just a little too cold and rainy outside. But boy, oh boy, is that a sweet prime rib! One, two, three, four, five cuts. We only have an inch ourselves. We'll have leftovers, or we'll give some, give it to the guests. All right, we're going to try my German Munich. <laughs> I just remember what it is now. And we're going to put that in a new glass that I got for Christmas. We're hoping it's carbonated enough. Not 100% sure. I forgot to turn the pressure down. I'm, I'm, I'm delivering right now at uh, 22 pounds of pressure, probably which isn't the best thing to do. Oh, it looks nice in the new glass. That's a nice color. Carbonation looks good. Right from the Ruland Brewery, established in 2015. How you doing? It's a uh, sweeter bill, uh, sweeter bill, <laughs> sweeter beer because of the uh, the German Munich, I believe. Oh man, my favorite hops. I said I used the. Uh, yeah, I said I use what again? <laughs> I can't remember shit. That must be because of this. How you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, German Hirschbrocker. Hirschbrocker! Second racking of the mead. Uh, the cherry mead. Yeah, I'm going to end up picking up a little bit of... Oh, boy, yeast cake and uh, sediment yeast. There she is right there. And then she'll clear up again in a second. We won't touch the wand. And that won't hurt nothing. That's just a little bit of the puree coming through the hose. Keep the darkening going there. And I'm going to add honey to this to top it off like I just said. Take up the headspace and she's going to uh, start fermenting again. <laughs> it's only two months. Like I say, it's the second racking. So she'll be sitting here quite, quite some time. This is the uh, cherry mead. Off to the racking. Off to the, off to the other car, boy. Now we got the honey water here. It's a cup and a half of honey and uh, three cups of water. We're going to dump that right into the mead here as soon as it gets down to the 80 degree range. It'll probably kick off fermentation again. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? It'll probably kick off fermentation all over again. Until next time, Prost!